everyone, gather around. Chibi Maruko-chan is about to start. Episode, Maruko carries a clock. See you later, Tama-chan. Yep, I'll see you tomorrow at school. Bye-bye. <laughs> I had so much fun. Huh? Huh? Hey, Butara, what on earth are you doing there? <laughs> what? Be quiet, Boo! Why? What's the big deal? Listen, just be quiet, Boo! Huh? Ah, found you! Uh, you can't hide from me! Uh, uh, he spotted me, Boo! It's your fault, Boo! Hold on, wait, why? This is hide and seek, Boo! Yeah, Butara was the only one who I couldn't find. Thanks a lot, good job. What? I had no idea. Can you forgive me, Butaro? Uh, uh, look, Butaro got spotted at last. Not fair, Boo! Come on, guys, let's play one more time, Boo! Wanna play, Sakura? Huh? Really? I'd love to. Don't ruin it this time, Boo! Right. I'm gonna hide so good. See ya! I'm home! Oh, Maruko, you've got a big appetite today. Yeah, my tummy's like a bottomless pit. Well, I can't really say I'm surprised. You played outside very late. Oh, I said I was sorry, Mom. Everyone that I know was out playing hide-and-seek, and there was still lots of light. You're right. The days sure are getting longer, aren't they, sweetie? That doesn't mean I don't worry about you. Come back home earlier next time. Well, that's easier said than done, Mom. I really don't know what time it is when I'm playing. It's not like there's a clock in the park or anything, right? You're right. Buy me a watch. That would really help. Huh? To tell the time with. I'll be home early. Don't be ridiculous. A child your age doesn't need a wristwatch. Yeah, but you want me to come home early, don't you? It's perfect, Mom! As you change your clothes, change your watch, too. Oh, that one's nice. Mom, look. I'm not going to buy you a watch. Boo! Mom is so stingy. How am I supposed to know the time anyway? Impossible. Impossible is getting her to buy you a watch. Good night. Chh, whatever. You needed to tell the time when we play, huh? Mm, my hands are so tied without a watch. Ah! Ah! Three o'clock! Boy, I better get home and have a snack before I starve! Out of the way! Uh, I do envy Kosugi sometimes. What? Maruko, don't tell me you want to be like Kasugi. Sure, because he can tell the time with his stomach, can't he? That's more accurate than the best atomic clock in the world. If Cinderella had that... Cinderella! Cinderella! Would have been so useful. 
Well, yes, but it ruins it. Hey, Mom! I'm heading outside to play, okay? I want you home earlier today. Ow! That's typical of her. <laughs> huh? Oh, hi. Hey, Gramps. Hmm. Hey, what you got there? It looks like an alarm clock. I'm going out to play, so I'm taking it with me. Huh? You're taking an alarm clock out to play with? Yeah, because Mom's going to be mad with me if I'm not home early today. I need to set the time exactly right. What's the time now? I need it right down to the second. The exact time, huh? Oh, I know just a thing for that. For the exact time, the time signal is best. Let's see here. It's 117. In Japan, 177 is what you call for weather, so don't mix them up. At the sound of the tone, the time is 3.28 and 10 seconds p.m. <sighs> see, Maruko, this tells you the exact time now. Huh? At the sound of the tone, the time is 3.28 and 20 seconds p.m. <gasps> That's amazing, Grandpa! Right, the time is 3.28 p.m. It's already 3.28 and 40 seconds! Whoa! Almost 50 seconds! Ah! That means it's almost 29 minutes past the Get hour. a grip, Grandpa. Grandpa, let's forget the seconds, huh? 3 o'clock and 29 minutes. The time is set. Good. Now I need to set an alarm for the exact time that I need to go home. This is perfect! Mm, that's a great idea, Maruko. With this alarm clock, I can play without any worries. Hmm. Oh, uh, excuse me, young miss. Uh, yes? I'm looking for Mr. Mimatsuya, who lives around here. Yeah, he's down that direction. I'm headed that way myself, actually. Would you like to walk with me? Thank you. That would be great. If only I knew what the time was right now. Uh -huh. Let's see. The time is 3.44 p.m. Oh. Oh! Thank you so much, Maruko. I appreciate you helping a customer. Yes, thank you so much, honestly. Sure. Huh? Excuse me. Huh? The time on your clock is wrong. Huh? It's 14 minutes behind. Uh, wait a sec, you're carrying an alarm clock around with you? Kinda. Well, well, I didn't realize the clock was so far behind. The battery must be running flat. I hadn't noticed. Thank you, Maruko. <laughs> There's no need to thank me for that. <laughs> carrying an alarm clock around can sure come in handy. Huh? Noguchi's older brother. <laughs> oh boy, he looks really frustrated. I don't need trouble today, so I guess I'll steer clear. Hey, dude. Huh? You've been here a long time, uh... man. What are you doing? Quiet! Shoo! Shoo, get out of here, kid! Old man. Be. <laughs> I'm not old! I'm a young man! I'm a young man! <laughs> Fujio! Huh? I'm so sorry. Have you waited long? Sugar pie. Nah, I just got here, actually. I'm so glad. Shall we go, then? Sure. Mm, Fujio. Okay. Wow. He was waiting there for ages, but didn't say anything. Oh, wait, I wonder what time it is. It's 4.23 now. I can make it! <laughs> <laughs> I've got your daughter! No! And then suddenly, the silver mask man showed up. <laughs> yeah, about time! Our hero rips the girl from his grasp and proceeds to beat it within an inch of their life. The girl is finally safe. Thank you, silver mask man! And then he flies into the eastern sky where he remains vigilant in the plight of innocent people. <laughs> that was awesome. What should we do next, guys? Let's play hide and seek, Boo. That sounds like fun. Can I play too? Sure. All right, I'll be first, okay, guys? One, two.
two. Hi, guys. Three. <laughs> four. <laughs> oh, this silly bag. It's too big. Uh, uh... Twenty. Here I come. Hi there, Maruko. Oh, what a surprise. You actually came home early. Ah, uh, well, everybody got scolded yesterday. So we all decided to be careful and come home earlier today. See? You can do it when you try. <laughs> hey, isn't it because you took the alarm clock with you, Maruko? Huh? The clock? What clock? Huh? <gasps> <gasps> Interrupted by the ringing alarm clock, their precious moment of love turned into something altogether weirder. No! In this episode, Maruka wants to win in arm wrestling. That's so cool. I love her. Her white guitar looks incredible, huh? <sighs> Grandpa? Hmm? What is it, Maruko? A white guitar. Can I have one, please? What? Uh... Uh, I don't know if my pension will pay for that. Maruko, huh? stop asking Grandpa for stuff. Yeah, yeah, I know. Our family's too poor to be able to afford something super awesome like a white guitar, right, Mom? <sighs> so, Maruko, you want a guitar, do you? Well, maybe I'll buy one for you. What? Really? Yeah, I'm serious. When are you going to buy it for me, then? <laughs> Let's see. When you beat me in an arm wrestling competition. Huh? A what? There's no way I can win at that, Dad. Fine. I guess there's no guitar for you. That's not fair, Dad. You suggested that because I would have no chance of beating you. You get a kick out of playing with kids' emotions, don't you, Dad? <laughs> That's Hiroshi, the fully grown child. Whatever, Dad. <laughs> Gotcha! Hey, what do you think you're doing, Maruko? I'm arm wrestling uh, you. That was a pretty cowardly attack. <laughs> You'll need a couple hundred years before you beat me, sweetie. Uh -huh. The next day. Uh, I wish I had a white guitar. I really don't get that much pocket money, so I'll never be able to save up for one. But that sounds like a piece of cake compared to beating my dad at arm wrestling. You wouldn't even have a chance of beating one of the boys in our class. Yeah. No Gucci. Arm wrestle me. Huh? Just out of the blue like that? Do you think you can beat a boy, No Gucci? Mm-hmm. Nah, you could never win against a boy, Boo. And Hamaji's the best at arm wrestling in our class. You wouldn't have a chance of beating him, Boo. Mm -hmm. Well. Ready? She won! That was amazing, Noguchi! You beat a boy! Yeah, you've got so much power, Noguchi! Hmm. Huh? Your biceps aren't big at all. It's not about muscle. Got that? Huh? Got what? There's a technique to winning at arm wrestling. Really? Wrist, elbow, and the whole arm. Go on. Tell me. I mustn't say anything more. I mustn't tell. Huh? Maruko? She's staring at the blackboard with intensity. How unusual. 
If I can figure out Noguchi's trick, I might be able to beat Dad at arm wrestling and get the white guitar of my dreams. If there's even a chance, then I at least have to try. Right. Here, look. Huh? A challenge letter? Nice joke, hon. Just read it, Dad. Uh, dearest Dad, I challenge you to an arm wrestling match tomorrow night. I want to battle you fair and square. Is your handwriting always this messy? Zip it! Keep on reading! <sighs> and if Maruka wins the arm wrestling match, then you have to buy her a white guitar for with and... Huh? Do you think you can beat me? Do you promise you'll buy me one if I beat you at arm wrestling, Dad? Sure. I'll buy you a guitar every day of the week. Just give your word. Fine. <laughs> On one condition. Huh? If I end up being the victor, I want you to buy me a brand new fishing rod out of your pocket money. Huh? Ah, why should you be the only one getting something? Trust Hiroshi to outchild a child. Right, let's do it. Come on. No, wait, it's not today, Dad. I told you it's tomorrow night. The details are written right here. Oh, yeah? Why tomorrow? Why tomorrow? Because I said so. <laughs> Fine with me. It won't hurt the fishing rod to wait a day. <laughs> You're going down, kid. Ugh. This is bad. I can't afford to lose tomorrow. I need to learn the trick from Noguchi or I'm in trouble. And the next day. Noguchi! Are you home? <laughs> no, you're such a meanie. <laughs> Come on, put some power into it. Hey, that's no Gucci's brother. <laughs> oh, dear. Mm, Fujio, you're such a strong man. Very masculine. There's actually a trick to arm wrestling. Hey, the trick? Oh, what is it? Please tell me. I'd love to know. The first thing you have to do is put your elbow in the right place. After that, hmm. Hey, what are you <laughs> looking at? Who said you could snoop around my place like this? Um, I'm so sorry. I was wondering if Noguchi was home. The Gucci went out earlier. Uh, where to? She said she was going to Shimizu. She won't be back until tonight. What? That's it. I don't stand a chance against my dad tonight. Hey, Fujio, I want to keep arm wrestling. How about you? Uh, uh, yeah. Hey, scram, you little pest. Okay. Hold on. If I go home now, I'll end up buying a fishing rod. Noguchi's brother is the only one who can stop that happening. Huh? Uh, but I really don't like Noguchi's brother. I think maybe I'd rather buy a fishing rod than ask him to help me. No, it's impossible. Oh, what should I do? <sighs> Fujio or the rod? That's a tough choice to make. Right. I'll do it. <laughs> hey, Noguchi's brother! Uh, what is it? Oh, you're the best arm wrestler. Oh. You're super manly and cool, Mr. Strongman. I really wish you would teach me arm wrestling. <laughs> well... Huh? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Wow, she's getting pretty desperate. You want to know the trick? That's right. Noguchi's really good at arm wrestling. I'm sure there's all kinds of things you could show me. Of course there is, kid. Who do you think taught her how to arm wrestle? Fujio, don't get involved with this strange little weirdo. Uh, yeah, you're right. Uh, what's that? Come on, please. I'm begging you to teach me how. I'll do anything, sir. Anything? Are you saying that you'll do anything I ask you to do? Uh, I guess so. Good! Massage my shoulders. Then you can go and buy me some juice. And my bedroom needs a clean, too. Maruko's really beginning to regret the decisions that she makes. Uh, boy, he sure made me work hard. But I know his arm wrestling trick now. Nothing can stop me. Hold your elbow tightly. Never ever bend your wrist. Then you need to pull your opponent's arm inwards towards your body. Kablam! All right, let's do it. I'm home. All right, Dad, are you ready to be destroyed? 
Huh? What are you talking about? I want to arm wrestle battle you before I forget the trick. Leave me alone. Don't go to sleep. <sighs> Give me justice. Welcome home, Maruko. Huh? Hi, Grandpa. You're just in time to witness an epic battle between me and my dad. Huh? You're going to fight him? Come on, Dad. Are you afraid of me or something? Uh, oh, no, there's a fight. Maruko and Hiroshi are about to battle. Now, oh. over in the east corner. Hiroshi Mountain, Maruko Ocean in the west corner. Don't forget the deal, Dad. When I win this arm wrestling match, you're going to buy me ten white guitars. That number has gone up. Sure, I'll honor the bargain, dear. But when you lose, you're going to buy me ten fishing rods. <laughs> Ready, wrestle! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Maruko, she's winning. Keep going, come on. That's it, come on, come on. Just a little bit more, come on. Not a chance. Never. In the Maruko. You can do it, Maruko. Just a little bit further to go, Maruko. That's it, Maruko, you've got it right where you want him. Just use all your strength, you've got this one in the bag. Come on. I'll never let you win this. Maruko. Maruko, keep going, you can do this! Hooray! I won! I'm the greatest! I'd be dad at arm wrestling! That's it, Dad! You need to buy me a guitar like you promised! That was just unfair! That headbutt was a foul! for moving your head closer to me, Dad. Nope. The whole thing doesn't count. Are you kidding? I won fair and square. No, you didn't. Come on, guitar now. Nope, that was a foul. That wasn't a foul. I'll never admit to that. But I totally beat you, Dad. You cheated. And That's so, this battle ended oh, in an awkward, messy draw. Oh, 